Hello again. Um, I've uh, seen a few falls over the last couple of months, which are quite interesting cases. Um, the first one I'm going to share a couple of slides with is a polo pony. It's a foal. It's a colt foal, a month old, very well developed, rather rotund. Um, and he has a flexural deformity. The others have angular limb deformities. So this, this one, I've got a slide here of the left fore, and it's a lateral view, a side view of the left fore. And at the fetlock, there should be an angulation of like 50, 60 degrees. And this is down to about mm, 10 degrees or something like that. And the hoof capsule is almost vertical. Um, and if we look at the other side, the right four, it's nigh on vertical. So we call this ballerina syndrome where uh, they stood on their toes and it'll be very sore in the toe and it's, well, they can almost have a mechanical form of laminitis where the dorsal toe is, uh, gets levered away and they're standing basically right on the tip of the pedal bone. Very painful, disproportionate growth rates really. Um, it's not so much a contracture as bone growth um, accelerating faster than the, the length of the tendons. So we've got the superficial digital flexor and the deep digital flexor involved in, in this. They're both superficial is, is not allowing extension of the, the paston and the deep flexor is keeping it stood on its tip toes, not allowing it to, to go down. So sometimes uh, uh, drugs at a very early stage can um, uh, help relax this, but this, we didn't, this, this wasn't used in this case. So and I think I've got a little video clip just to look around. So that's these uh, bit of a cocky colt but he needs a bit of help so that's that's um, what he looks like first off so that was at the end of July three weeks later I think it's something like three weeks that was the ideal we go and have a look at him now he's got extensions on there's a little video clip here side view you can see some angulation coming there's, there's more degrees and that's just in three weeks. Um, we've built a toe extension onto the foot, encapsulating most of the foot, but giving depth and extension to lever that foot into the right position. And I would leave up to a centimeter um, standing free. So there's room for that foot to, uh, the heels to come to the ground. Um, he, he coped with that, so um, he's, still, he's still leaning back a bit there and he can't, can't quite get down on his heels. So let's have a look at, um, so a lateral shot, the left four with the um, extension removed. And so he's, he's placing the foot a little bit forward, but there's a good bit of angulation happening there. We still want this to improve. The right, we'll have a look at this. You see the foal foot is the lower, lower part, obviously, the lower half almost. And the upper half, or just a, a little bit more than half, is a new foot and it's pink. That's because of the trauma uh, of the leverage on the, on the laminae in this immature foal foot. So we've got one more shot. The right four, and that was by far the worst to start with. We've, we've got this uh, paston coming at a much better angle and, and the foot with it. So um, as good as we could hope for um, so far.